I want to make sure you guys know what's inside the side of the block. So I've shown you the, the relief valve that goes in the back to adjust the field position. I've also shown you the valve that is uh, the bypass valve. And uh, from there, I want to show you these other two valves here. And uh, with that, we can see the changes if we look up there between standard and, and uh, PWM. So if you look here, it comes off the side of the main block and uh, we got our actual on off valve which I'll show you in a second and the solenoid that activate it which we've introduced from there the PWM you can see which we've talked about and with the cartridge removed so this is a new style this was the old style so it actually does utilize the same on off valve the same solenoid and then from there if you happen to look at it who's got that relief valve that went around what we're seeing there is is that that gear motor is operating a relief valve so do you guys remember what I passed this around for? Wing down pressure. Oddly enough, in the old style blocks, wing down pressure was the same relief valve as shank down pressure. So that setup there, if you pass it around, is what the manual switch box used to actually increase and decrease the actual opener down pressure. So again, utilizing this control box, when you toggled increase, and toggle it because it turns that DC motor, it turns the valve in, you toggle it, it turns that motor out, turning that relief valve out, decreasing it. So that's this manual style. So that is only, you're only gonna have that DC motor with this style control box. So everything moving forward is operating with a PWM valve. And uh, that PWM valve is simply only adjusting the pressure and the flow of oil comes from the top valve. So we talked about um, initially operating the opener pressure switch, powering up the solenoid, the solenoid opening this manual valve, allowing a flow of oil to come out of that block into the opener circuit. Now, something else I want you guys to remember there is that we require power, which we talked about quite a bit already here this morning to power that solenoid. That solenoid when it opens then passes oil through one more orifice. So I talked about the dump line return having as much as uh, a, a guarantee of five gallons a minute. So I mentioned uh, we had an orifice here for continuous wing down flow at two and a half. The orifice is sized exactly the same for the shank top up flow. So through the back of the block, when you turn this valve on, it then supplies oil through the back port. Uh, and through that, it's flowing oil at a limited flow again through an orifice of two and a half gallons out to that opener circuit. So it's just a flow of continuous oil. And then it uses the PWM valve, the same as that relief, to actually increase or decrease that pressure. And uh, with the PWMs, we gain the ability to automatically change this to maintain an actual pounds of seedbed pack or an actual pressure, if we remember with the pressure transducer. The other thing I want you to know about with that on off valve when it goes around, there's a brass knurled knob on the end. That knob, you can actually pull it out, turn it a half turn and it locks it open. And then if you keep turning it, it'll actually turn and pull closed, which uh, it's a manual override. So sometimes it's kind of nice to be able to turn your opener pressure on by yourself and uh, Maybe if you're working by yourself, you want to be sure that your opener pressure is on and off and you want to turn it on and off a few times. There is a manual override right at that block. When it's flowing oil, it's then using the PWM, which uh, is going around there. So it ha has power to that solenoid that's activated on it to um, adjust that PWM for where it's going to be open and closed. And remember, it started from zero, which is full open, to 253 which was full closed which is uh, when it's closed it's uh, it has uh, the highest pressure it can achieve now the other thing that it has on it is an actual uh, manual override so you actually have an ability on it the same as a relief valve that went around to loosen the jam nut and actually physically turn it in or out to actually manually adjust it so uh, again another way to actually physically manually check it without fully removing that valve. So that uh, also gives us a point where I can actually show you that we looked at how to relieve, adjust the relieves on these. 
there is an actual manual override for any valve that we can turn on and off for the most part. So valves that uh, are important to actually be able to test and turn on and off, we can actually do that. So should you want to be adjusting wing unfold pressure and you don't have someone to actually hold the switch, um, you can actually use a manual override here. But keep in mind that with most CT models, uh, well, all CT models or M folds, there is M uh, locks to stop the, the actual uh, outer wings from pushing together. That's why we did main wings and then outer wings because it stops the flow of oil from going out to the outer wings. So the brass knobs are all manual overrides. 